Well, hello, friends. It's Russ Barkley back again with another comment on ADHD in the news. This is a late breaking story that just developed this week. Uh, indeed, just two days ago, an article appeared in pediatrics having to do with the subject of the risk of psychotic experiences in individuals taking stimulant medication for their ADHD. Now, as you know, I covered this topic last September when an article appeared in another journal that appeared to suggest that taking stimulant medication, particularly amphetamine, was associated with an increased risk for psychotic experiences and indeed hospitalization for a psychotic experience. But the problem with that study, as I noted at the time, is that its logic was rather reverse. It started with people who had been admitted to the hospital with a psychotic experience or episode, and then it looked backward in their history to identify risk factors that might have predisposed to that event, that is to being hospitalized for a psychotic experience. And what they found is that individuals who had been taking stimulant medication, particularly amphetamine, were more likely to be hospitalized with a psychotic experience. But as you can see, the logic there is a bit reversed. You're starting with people with psychosis and going backward. And instead, what we want to do and what the current study does is to start with those on medication and go forward to look at the risk. Now, there have been other articles on this, including a meta-analysis by Samuel Cortese and colleagues about, I think it was about two years ago. Nonetheless, they found little, if any, evidence for an increased risk of psychosis in children or adults taking stimulant medication. But, of course, the controversy continues nonetheless. Well, here is a great article that appeared in Pediatrics on Stimulant Medication Use and Risk of Psychotic Experiences. The beauty of this study is that it's a longitudinal study. It's actually using data from the Adolescent Brain Cognitive Development Study, known as the ABCD study, which has been going on a number of years now. It's a large database on children followed through adolescence that is collecting a lot of data on their um, impairments, their psychiatric disorders, as well as their brain growth and development using various neuroimaging methods. Now, in this particular study, the authors have identified 8,391 participants who are then followed up for a year. And out of these individuals, they have 460, which is about 5.5%, were taking a stimulant medication, and those individuals were also followed up over that period of time. Now, initially, on the first pass of their analysis, they did find that individuals taking a stimulant medication had a 46% greater odds of having a psychotic experience over the subsequent year. Sounds pretty terrible until you understand that the risk of having a psychotic experience at all in the study was very, very low. So this, again, is a point that I've made earlier. When you have very small numbers and you calculate the percentage change from a small number, well, just a slight change can create a huge increase in percentage. For instance, if one person had a psychotic experience in this study and then two people did at follow-up, oh my God, that's a 100% increase or doubling of the odds of a psychotic experience. Nevertheless, it was just two people. Okay, that's just an example. That's not what happened in the study, but the base rate in the study was very low. So a rise of about 46% in risk by itself doesn't mean anything until you look at the numbers. More importantly, however, unlike other studies, this study took a look at baseline psychotic experiences of these individuals before going on medication. And what did they find? They found that those who had such experiences were more likely to go on and get a stimulant prescription. So this is where the severity of the disorder leads to a treatment, but it also leads to an increased risk for 
the outcome for psychosis or psychotic experience in this case. And so the relationship of treatment to psychotic experiences is illusory. It's as a result of a third variable, severity of disorder. In this case, the third variable is that these individuals were already prone to having psychotic experiences. And those are the very people more likely to get stimulant medication. And so when they did the appropriate analysis again, they found that there was no association between taking stimulant medication and having a subsequent psychotic experience after controlling for the baseline predisposition to such experiences. That's a very important finding, and it should reassure parents and others uh, ADHD in their family that taking stimulant medication isn't going to turn a individual into some kind of uh, psychotic experience due to the medication. Doesn't mean they won't have one. The odds of having one are about one to two percent. It simply means that it's not the medication that is likely to be doing this. So I thought I'd get this news item out to you to provide some reassurance and following up on my video from last September that when appropriate controls are done within these studies and longitudinal designs are employed, we get a much better indication about risk for psychotic experiences from stimulant medication. And as this study found, there isn't any. So I hope you appreciate that. And I'll talk to you later in the week with other news about ADHD. Thanks for joining me on this channel. I'll put the article's reference over in the description. It is over again in the journal Pediatrics and just came out two days ago. So thank you everybody for joining me today and I'll see you again later on this channel. Until then, live well, be well, take care, and bye for now.